What is up, YouTube? It's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com, and today we are putting together the five best ways to get paid apps free. Thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're going to enjoy this. Now, the first one I want to share with you is called Apps for iPhone.net. Now, all of these will be working pretty much the same way, so be sure that you're in your Safari browser when you're opening these up. They will not install any other way, and I'll have links in the descriptions if you need links to get any of these like this link here. Uh, the link for each of these will be down below. Plus a post on iPhoneCaptain.com that tells you how to install all of these so you shouldn't have any problems at all. After watching the video, you can follow along with the guide too. And that way you can bookmark it and come back later if you need help later on. Share it with your friends. Be sure and do that, okay? It really helps me out a lot when you do that. Appsforiphone.net. Right there in the center of the screen, you see that blue button that says install the full screen web app. Go ahead and tap install. You'll have to install a profile, and then, of course, you'll have to go back to settings and trust that profile before you can open up the application itself. So we'll jump back into settings here and go down to where it says apps for iPhone right here, 2.0. You can see that it is already verified. Now, that does that sometimes. You don't have to trust it again if you've already installed it prior. And, of course, I have had this on my phone before. So it goes ahead and automatically trusts it for me and saves me the trouble from having to do that. So if you don't have to trust yours in the future, that's why. So let's go up through here and find apps for iPhone. And you can see it's a little yellow icon right there with the little box in it. Go ahead, open it up. Now inside here, you guys, you can just sort of go along and just go look around and get what you want yourself but from experience i can tell you that each one of these uh, offer different things so keep that in mind just because a certain application is not in one doesn't mean it won't be in the other you may find what you're looking for in a different location you see here over on the left hand side it says menu if you tap that it's broken down into different sections if you want to look through some of that stuff but personally, I usually just stay over here and flip through like where it says apps, tap on the app section, and it'll pull up all the different apps it has. And then you can go back and look at the different, go back home. And right here, though, if you want to just search for a particular app, just go to, go to menu and just right here, just tap search right here, and it'll search the site for you. And that way you can find out whatever it is you're looking for. That's apps for iPhone.net. Really cool app, guys. Be sure and check it out. The next one is probably one you haven't heard a whole lot about, and it's called Zestia. And this is a very cool app, guys. What you have to do here is you have to go to Safari, type in, type in Zestia.lmdinteractive.com. Hit go, and it'll do a little search. And right there in the center of the screen, you see the little download button there. It looks like an Apple iTunes download button. Tap that. You'll get a little pop-up, and it, too, will ask you to install a profile. So here again, you're, like I said earlier in the video, guys, you're going to pretty much install all these the same way. You'll have to go back in settings and uh trust the profile here's zestia right here it's uh, here again it's verified because i've had it pre-installed before go back in here now and we'll go find zestia and uh right here is zestia it's installed it somewhere else and it's moved it on me right here za really cool app guys i've been using this one for a while and i haven't really uh shared it with you but that's that's my fault i should have already shared it but if you go down here to Zestia, you'll see here there's a whole lot of things you can do. Up there in the top right corner, you see it said reload, and it sort of looks like it's working. But down at the bottom, you see the little uh, download button. It looks like the download iTunes uh, iCloud button. Tap that. 
in here, if you tap up here at the top where it says All Applications, this will give you a look at everything it has to offer. Now, they have several different emulators, uh, movie apps. Uh, there's Playbox HD. I saw Bobby Movie. There's X Cleaner, Airshow, uh, Minecraft, Inlight, Plo uh, Bloons TD, Subway Surfers. Now, inside of those apps, guys, you see they have unlimited money. So that's one of the cool things about downloading these uh, uh, apps from this particular uh, site is you get all the money you could ever want to spend, like in Subway Surfers, Bloons, and the other. Uh, you Tweetbot Plus Plus, Deezer, Twitter, Spotify, NBA Plus Plus, and 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 here, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, you see on my screen right here is NBA two two uh, K seventeen. Uh, I got that from one of these, and I don't really remember which one, but I think it was that one, if I'm not mistaken. But you can get a lot of cool stuff in here, guys, and that's a, that's another really cool way to get it. 22app.vip, hit enter. Now, right here, there's a lot of confusion, and I tried to talk to this developer about his app, and he really didn't want to hear it. But right here where it says regular, you need to tap that and then tap the big green download button, and it will start downloading right here. Now, hit, you have to hit install, of course, before it will. Hit install, and it will start installing the Tutu app. Now, once it finishes, it will be on the screen right here like mine is, but you will have to go back into settings and do all the trust like we did before. Then you can open it up. Now, Tutu is a pretty big app. Uh, probably got four or five different hundred different applications in here. I mean, maybe even more. So <clears throat> this is probably one of the places I would look first here, Tweetbox. Um, Tweetbox app is really doing good, too, and we'll talk about it next. But come in here and search and find whatever you want. But you can see here uh, they list stuff by favorites, uh, all that sort of stuff in here. Down at the bottom, it's broken down by category. If you want to look for a game or an app, and they even have charts listed in here. So, pretty big app, guys. Check this one out. GTA's in here. Any of them. Are, yeah. Maybe I got NBA 216 and 217 in here. I see it listed right there. Probably did. Anyway, there's Grand Theft Auto Vice City, plus the hack, it says. Uh, Subway Surfers with infinite coins. You can find pretty much anything and everything you want in here, guys. Check it out. 22app.vip. The next one is called Tweetbox App. Now, Tweetbox App is one of my favorites. I personally enjoy it best because of a number of reasons. I did a, re a video on it by itself just today, matter of fact, because you get a check mark, and I'll show you what I mean by that. If you go into the App Store apps, see the little green check marks there beside of them? That's going to tell you if this app is running and working properly. And that's something I think that every one of these should do. If Apple has revoked it or it's not working properly, then there's no sense in you downloading it. And, it, and this is a really good way to know just by a glance if it's working or not. So that's one of my big things that I like about this most of all. Now, Tweetbox app here again. Uh, it's divided into categories. You can It's divided into Flash apps up here at the top. You know, if you want something, you know, like, like all these different things that's listed in here, all these music apps, get them in here, the iDownloaders. Uh, I mean, the list just goes on. There's Popcorn Movie, uh, Big Box, Turbo File Downloader, Battery Saver. I mean, there are just hundreds of them. UDI Sender. It's just, if, if you can name it, it's in here most likely. Uh, but Tweetbox app, like I said, guys, is a very, very big, big site and has a lot to offer. Check it out. I know you really enjoy it. Now, last but not least, guys, is probably one of the, my favorites, too, and it's called iHackOS.cf. Somewhat of a little bit of a different there it is, iHackOS.cf. This is by Boomhacks. 
Uh, if you don't know him, he's a YouTuber, and he's just getting started with this, doing a real good job. But after you enter iHackOS.cf, you get a little blue button up here, tap Install. Here again, you'll have to install your profile. It'll walk you right through it step by step. Hit Done. Then you have to go to Settings, find iHackOS. It says not signed, but that's okay. As long as it's been trusted, it will open. Now we'll go back in here. It will install it on your springboard. Go to iHackOS. We're looking for iHackOS. Uh, right here, the little the little blue and purplish looking one here. Got iHackOS right under it. Open it up. This is just like a little web app. And now instead of home, we're going to tap where it says apps. And that will move that little thing over there like so. And now it's broken into categories too, Emula uh, city apps, emulators, hack games, paid apps, plus plus apps, flash apps. So whatever it is you're looking for, you probably can find it in here, okay? So if we just open up, let's say hacked games. Now these games are going to be, uh, that's got probably got unlimited money. And as you can see here, it's not wanting to open. Or maybe I'm just trying to rush it or something. The paid apps section seemed to open okay, but here you got Photoshop Touch. That's a ten dollar app. Minecraft. That's like six or seven dollars. Uh, there's NBA 2K17. I think that's like ten bucks. So any of these in here are going to be expensive apps. So here's all your plus plus apps: your Deezer, Movie Box, Spotify, YouTube, Twitter, all that's here. Uh, lots of different things in here. Here's your Flash apps your screen recorder, uh, all sorts of different stuff. Hacked Games isn't wanting to open, boom, for some reason. You need to check on that. Here's all the emulators they've got. Happy Chicks, in, in the NDS 4 iOS, uh, in, in, uh, GBA 4 iOS, and then Delta. That, Delta's probably the most popular one. City of Apps is Airshow, Popcorn, X Cleaner. X Cleaner is pretty popular. If you need to clean up some of your device and get some more room on it, that's a good way to do it. Guys, there's five ways to get paid apps free. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. It really helps me out a lot. And keep coming back.